Reef Bum is sponsored by Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech Marine. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. So in this video I want to go through the process in terms of how I determine how much to dose in terms of trace elements but before I do that if you want to help support the channel and pick up some SPS frags, you can do so at reefbum.com. And with that, let's get into the video. So let me start off by saying that prior to this past September, I had never ever dosed trace elements to my reef tanks. At least I can't remember doing so. And I've been keeping reef tanks for about 30 years and had a lot of great success with my tanks, especially SPS as a lot of you folks out there know. But I had always leaned on, relied on 10% weekly water changes to replenish trace elements. But after having several conversations with Chris Meckley at ACI Aquaculture, as well as Chris Wood at Captivate Aquaculture, I came to realize that corals, to, you know, to optimize coral health, they really need trace element replenishment on a constant basis throughout the day, every day versus that one time a week. That I was getting out of the weekly water changes, so it uh, it was something that made a lot of sense to me, and I, I'm I'm always open to trying something new. So I uh, I decided to to follow Chris's lead, Chris Meckley's lead. I had see, you know I've seen his animals a couple of times in person, and just um, extremely uh, healthy, beautiful corals. So I um, you know I wanted to mimic his his methodology, which is to lean on monthly ICP test results and then tweak the amount that um, you know you dose um, for the trace elements based on those ICP test results. So what I want to do here is kind of take you through the process of what I have been doing recently and and you know I'll, I'll say in terms of the uh, the health of my animals right now I you know like I mentioned I've always had some really really good success keeping reef tanks but there's some colors and some corals that I've never been able to achieve that I have been able to achieve the, um, you know, the last six months. So my, um, my experience so far in dosing traces and, and utilizing the ICP test results to help dial in those traces has been extremely uh, positive. So I just want to take this time to kind of go through what I do to determine what to dose. So the first thing that um, you know I do is I order an ICP test, and this is from Reef Labs right here. And so you have all the uh, you know it starts off with um, some warnings and some changes versus what happened the last time you ordered an ICP test from Reef Labs. But then you know it, and there's some more information in terms of important ratios and and calculated values in terms of salinity and phosphate. But then there's a list of the essential macro elements as well as beneficial minor and traces, contaminants and toxins. So that's all the information. Now, <clears throat> what do I do with this information? Well, there's a spreadsheet that you can download from the Captivate Aquaculture website. So it's Captivate Aquaculture. Dot com and if you scroll down a little bit you can see this need help applying ICP results to your system okay simple download our ICP tool and so you, you just download it on the uh, Captivate Aquaculture website here is the, um, the spreadsheet the most recent spreadsheet that I've been working with and it's uh, pretty simple the um, yellow orange area whatever you want to call that color <clears throat> You just put in your information, so uh, you put in the uh, the net system volume in terms of gallons and days, and then you input all the different numbers that you get from the ICP tests into the spreadsheet. And there are dosing recommendations that you can uh, get as a result of inputting those values. But I am not going to do a deep dive on how to utilize the spreadsheet because that's already been done by Chris Wood at Captivate Aquaculture. And I would include, I will include a link to the video that Chris had done um, a couple of months ago. <clears throat> and it's, um, it's a deep dive in terms of how to utilize this ICP analysis calculator. And, and, and he does a great job in terms of explaining it. So one specific thing I'd like to point out about the spreadsheet 
is on the second tab you see the dosing recommendations and if you go to scroll to the right you'll see this custom minor and trace element solution calculator what you can do is put all the trace elements together in a like one gallon container mix them all together in a dilute solution with RODI water and dose that every day for 30 days so this is a calculator that you could use to help determine how much of each of the traces you should be putting into that dilute solution so that's something that that I do and it just makes it very easy I have my um, these one gallon containers for each system hooked up to my GHL doser so I'm dosing that way all day every day so that's a pretty cool thing to be able to do so how do I go about making these um, cocktails of trace elements? What I do is I, I fill the uh, one gallon containers up uh, three quarters with RODI water. And then I will add, you know, one trace element, stir the uh, solution for about 15, 20 seconds, you know, in between. And then, um, you know, I will add a, uh, another trace element, stir for 15 to 20 seconds, so on and so forth until I've um, added my last trace element and then I will uh, top off the one gallon container with with RODI water so it's now um, you know filled up with one gallon of solution final thing I'd like to point out here is that if you really want to get a deep dive in terms of the benefits of using trace elements for corals then I highly recommend checking out a talk that Chris Meckley just gave to the Florida Marine Aquarium Society the ins and outs of dosing Trace elements, it uh, starts, the pertinent information, pertinent information starts at 57 minutes, 35 seconds. It's well worth uh, checking out, you know, and, and as I mentioned, I've had um, great success myself with the trace elements, especially dosing fluoride and the blues popping on some corals. But overall, the health of my corals have been tremendous, the colors, the polyp extension. So, yeah. Uh, but certainly check out Chris's uh, talk. He really gets into the nitty-gritty stuff. So with that, I'm going to end the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Until next time, be safe, be well. Later.